Hey, what's cracking, everybody? On today's video, I'm going to take a look at uh, Haiku. Uh, I think I've looked at this system once before. Uh, it was about a year or two ago. Uh, I don't remember a lot about it, but uh, left me a comment on one of the videos, and they asked if I could take a look at Haiku. So here we are, taking a look at a Haiku. And we are right here on their uh, web page. And right here it says, Haiku is developed by a small group of volunteers and occasional contractors. To help with development and bandwidth costs, please consider donating if you are able to, if you are able. We rely on your support to continue the development of Haiku into the future. And current version information, version R1 beta 5. So it's still in the R1 stage, beta stage. Release date, September, September 13, 2024. Then there's a link for release notes and supported platforms, x86, 32-bit, and 64-bit. And you got more information on the downloads, so you can download it and get it going. All right, so I got it up in a virtual machine, so uh, let's take a look at a haiku. All right, and we are here now at the uh, virtual machine, and I got Haiku booted up. So right here, uh, this is the only thing that popped up, and it says install Haiku or try Haiku. So let's try to install it, see what happens. So I click on install. All right, and it says welcome to the Haiku installer. Important information before installing Haiku. This is a beta quality software. It means there is a risk of losing important data. Make frequent backups. You have been warned. So basically it's telling you that, uh, you know, you're going to overwrite your drive. So, but we know that, okay, no partitions have been found that are suitable for installation. Please set up partitions. Okay. Install from, please choose target. I'm going to unmount it now and see what I can do with it. Format. I guess the FAT32, I don't know if that made a difference or not. But let's try B file system. And let's go to continue. And format. And write changes. Click on OK. Let's see if we have a successful way to uh, install it now. There it is. Select it. It's kind of a uh, laggy. Right now my mouse is all over the place. I barely move it and it moves all over the place. So, uh, you know, but that's just because I'm on a virtual machine. Who knows? It might act different on bare metal. But uh, I don't think you would want to install this on bare metal, being that uh, it's in a it's in a beta release. So, uh, but anyways, installation completed. Boot sector has been written to Kimu hard disk. Press restart to restart the computer, or choose a new target volume to perform another installation. So let's go ahead and restart. Okay, so we have restarted the system, and pretty much this is what it looks like. Uh, from here, let me click on this, see what happens. There is an about, about Haiku, and it gives you information right here. So if you want to read this through, go ahead and pause the video. And to close it, I guess you click this right here. And then what else is right here? Let's see. We got fine. I'm going to assume that's going to be like a search. And it is. So let's try, uh web see what opens up all right so it looks for everything i guess that has the word web in it all right it's a pretty big old list but we can go ahead and close that all right let's go back over here uh there's a shutdown button recent documents recent folders recent applications applications i guess these are your applications right here let me look at a software updater see how that works 
checking for updates, validating checksum. All right, there are some updates right here that can be updated. Let me uh, update these and see what happens. And you can see right here, you have a progress bar on top and it's going through the updates, but that was just one. Looks like it's going to do this 75 times. So while it's updating, let's go back into the uh, applications. See what else looks interesting in there. There is a terminal. Let's look at the terminal. Welcome to the Haiku shell. Let's see. Uh, do they have simple programs like HTOP? Not found. How about just top? And they do have top. All right. So this would uh, well, it's supposed to be similar to a uh, HTOP, but it's a more uh, more watered down version of it. All right. So and I'll go ahead and close this down. And I'll click on close. All right, it's still doing this update. So while it's still doing that, get back into uh, applications. See what else we got right here. We got a media player. Let's see what type of media player we got. Well, just looks like a standard media player. I guess, uh, how would I feed a file into this would be the question. But uh, eh, it looks like a very old system, like an old school type system. I feel like I've been uh, transported to the past. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see what we got in demos. And desktop applets and preferences. All right, so this type of system right here is more for like a novice, you know, someone that... uh likes playing with older looking systems. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is even Linux, <laughs> to be honest, because I think it's an independent type system. Um, but yeah, you know, like, like every, everything that I see on here works like something that I haven't seen in a long time. But uh, for the most part, you know, it does work. Everything works on here, you know. Let me open up this uh, home folder, see what happens. Do I have to double click it? Yeah, I double clicked it. And you got your config folder, desktop, mail, and queries. So let me go into the config. All right, let's look at packages, administrative. It just keeps opening a new folder. Let's look under settings. Yeah, it's a. It's, uh, it's kind of a weird system to be honest but uh like i said this is more for like a novice someone who likes playing with these uh older type systems and tweaking it's different i can tell you that it is 100 percent different so i'll click i'm not going to reboot right now update completed a reboot is necessary well we'll reboot later all right let's take a look at this uh quick tour could not open quick tour hmo with application web positive missing libraries so maybe i do need to uh do a quick reboot so let's do that real quick all right that was actually uh pretty quick but now the mouse is you see how you see the artifacts i'm getting with the mouse now like i said this is probably because it's on a virtual machine that's why it's acting like this let me click on uh left control alt to free the mouse and it's not freeing it. Okay, there we go. Now it's freed. All right. So that helped get rid of it. All right, let's see if the quick tour will work now. All right. Yeah, seems like a reboot. Uh, fix that up. And to make it full screen, click it right here. All right, welcome to the Haiku's quick, quick tour. While Haiku shares many ideas with other operating systems, it does have a unique approach in some areas that are worth pointing out. In just a few slides, you'll learn about the most important Haiku features and peculiarities that'll help you to get a running start. 
For each topic, you can find a box with links for further reading that point to additional resources like related topics in the user guide. Okay, that just selected everything. All right, the desk bar. So that's pretty much gonna be this up here that it's talking about. So we got information on that. All right, the window, the window widgets. So it's telling you how to double click, hide to minimize, zoom to maximize, and the close button, border, you can drag it. All right, the shortcut key. So there are some shortcut keys right here. So uh, the twitcher, what is a twitcher? Holding control tab summons the twitcher where you switch between running applications tapping the tab key only quickly while holding control the team monitor window management and move and resize so it's basically just telling you how to how to run the system and what buttons do what and all right all right well you know it's a it's a cute little system uh yeah I mean, I, I wouldn't use this for a development, you know, for a development PC. This is something more, you know, something to play around with and just, uh, you know, titter tatter and things like that. Like I said, this is more for like a novice, someone who likes, you know, tinkering with uh, these type of systems. Um, but yeah, if it's something you want to take a look at, uh, I'll have the links down in the video description. That way you can uh, play with it yourself. Anyway, this is Haiku. Uh, while I'm here, you know what I did not see is how to install actual software. So let's see, under applications, would it be the Haiku Depot or probably install? No, then we already checked out the installer and that just to install the system. Haiku Depot, it would be accepted to send anonymous users. Nope. Okay, featured, featured packages, all packages. So let's look under audio. Let's see. Or oh, you know what? I'll just leave it at all categories. And let's search for uh, VLC. There it is, VLC media player. I'm gonna click on it. And then right here it says install VLC media player. Okay, is it actually installing already? Or let me click on it again. Right now it says installing VLC. Okay, the following additional packages changes have to be made. I'll click on apply. Uninstall VLC. So let me go back to applications. There it is, VLC media player. So I'll click on it. And there you go. VLC. And let's take a look at the about. All right. VLC media player 3.0.21. You know, there's been a lot of comments in the past about uh, NeoFetch. How uh, NeoFetch is no longer maintained, and uh, that's why a lot of apps don't use it. Well, VLC has been on version 3.0.21 for the last couple of years, if I can remember. Like I said, if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? All right. Anyways, this is a this is a cool uh, cool novice system. So you know, like I said before, if you want to play with it, I'll have the links down in the video description. But uh, I'm pretty much done with it. It doesn't spark my interest, but just because I don't find it interesting doesn't mean that you won't find it interesting. Maybe this is something you like. Someone requested it for me to take a look at it. I did. Eh, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's uh, nostalgic, you know. But uh, as far as something that I would use, I would never use this for production. <laughs> That's for damn sure. All right, you guys. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, by all means, give it a thumbs down. That's going to do it for this video. And I'm out.